you know, it's just, it's, it, Gripple has just over the years evolved into the style of art and stories that I have tended to do. I didn't really have a specific uh, end point in mind when I started doing Grickle. It just uh, originally, probably, gosh, over 10 years ago now, I started making my own little independent short stories in comic book form and self-published those things. And I had a ton of the stories and I put them together in a book. And I was like, man, what do I call this? Because <laughs> I really just drew and wrote anything that was appealing to me at the time. Uh, and Grickle just happened to be a nickname my dad had for me as a kid, uh, among a million other nicknames. But that particular name just kind of stuck. It just felt like the right word to describe the sort of offbeat stories I've been doing. And it's just kind of stuck ever since. Um, <clears throat> And I mean, Puzzle Agent just feels like yet just another evolution of the kind of style I've been doing for the number of years, last bunch of years. So, sort of a natural evolution. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, we uh, in doing the first game, we all certainly hoped that there was going to be uh, another one. But, you know, there's never any guarantees in this world. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, uh, Mark Darren, I think, had written the original spec. I mean, there was a lot of hands involved, a lot of just great folks uh, lent their talents to sort of mapping out that first puzzle, puzzle agent storyline. And it was a whole arc that <clears throat> definitely went beyond the first episode. And yeah, we are so excited that we are getting a chance to do the second one now to follow the whole storyline through. <clears throat> 